Hello, my name is Ruben Major. I'm an instructor, program director for Arizona, and chief executive officer for EMS University. In this extremely short section, we'll be discussing the detailed physical exam. This is some relatively general information and kind of almost some just gee whiz information. So if you're looking at this particular section as a standalone uh, for the detailed physical examination, you really need to consider it um, with regard to the other sections and model modules that we have related to this particular topic. However, I'm just going to go over some very brief information here so that you can uh, keep on track if you're going through the course. Obtaining the patient's past medical history and vital signs is part of your secondary assessment performed during the detailed physical exam. So the patient's past medical history is in the secondary assessment. It's performed during the detailed physical exam. Special tests might be needed to be done, such as the Markle heel drop test, which examines the patient for peritonitis and involves having the patient stand on their toes and then quickly dropping to their heels to see if it increases abdominal pain. Now, why are we giving you this information? Well, basically, these specific tests need to be done so that the patient is, is more uh, appropriately assessed. And we need to look at things such as the Cincinnati stroke test or the FAST uh, neurological exam or the LA stroke test, et cetera, et cetera. So this information is very important to obtain. Uh, specific diagnostic tests may, should be done during the detailed physical exam. And the detailed physical exam, apologize for that, the detailed physical exam is a very, very important uh, head-to-toe diagnostic tool where you are assessing uh, DCAT BTLS. And we'll go over this information a little bit more uh, in a little bit more detail in the in the other sections that we're going through. But that will complete this particular section.